All right, everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. As I did promise, we now want to jump into skincare. And specifically, we're going to be talking about skin analysis and face mapping. My guest here in studio is Lydia Nyaga, who's a beauty therapist and founder of Flawless Spa. Karibu sana to the show. Thank we you, also Joyce. have our model already here on the table, Faith Kanya Santasana, as well, for being a part. So, um, Maybe as you just get started, you can begin explaining to us what is facial or face mapping all about. Oh, good morning. Um, today, we're going to look at um, skin analysis and skin mapping. Actually, is getting to understand the skin much better okay. and uh, ways to treat it, to get the treatments and all that. And uh, by correcting, improving, and balancing the quality of the skin. Okay. Yeah. So what's the first step then? So the first step with uh, my model here, uh, I'm going to do a cleansing for me to be able to analyze it well. Okay. Because she may look clean, but we have to make sure that we do it um, uh, again. Okay. So I'm going to start with um, cleansing. All right. So it's good to wet our face first. Mm -hmm. And well, with skin, um, I can say that the movement in how you, you're going to clean uh, your face matters a lot. Okay. So why so does that, that matter? You, you're avoiding, like, you're not um, sagging the skin. So True. it's like outwards movement. Okay. So like this. Yeah. And if you notice, guys, actually, the whole time that she's doing this, she's she's doing these upward movements. It's up and outwards. You don't want to be... Yeah, you yeah. don't want to do that because you're going to cause yourself wrinkles, yeah. you know, earlier uh, in life. So you want to make sure you're pulling it away and, you know, trying to help your skin lift. Yeah, you that's right. Okay. So I'm using a cleanser, All right. which is milk-based cleanser. Okay. So the same motion applies here when yeah, you're doing Yeah, when, you're you're, when you're cleansing. Something. And how long should you cleanse? I know there's a lot of debate as far as how long you should have soap on your face and, yeah. you know, at what point is it effective. Villa to me corona, you know, hand washing. <laughs> it needs to be a certain number of seconds yeah. for it yeah. to be effective. Yeah. Does the same apply when it comes to cleaning your face? Yeah, I can say it's the same because, you see, I've wetted um, the skin first and then applied the cleanser. Yeah. I have to make sure that I have uh, cleansed uh, the forehead around the eye area right. and avoiding the eyes, um, not the cleanser to go inside the eyes right and then around the cheeks the jawline and the neck also it's part of the of sure. the face so i have to make sure that i have cleansed it also and there's something else we need to add here yeah. um we've started this as because she wasn't wearing any makeup yeah. but if you were wearing makeup you first need to remove the makeup yes before you embark on any of these steps yeah we need to remove first the makeup mm -hmm. whereby we will use um alcohol uh sorry uh oil based mm -hmm. cleanser like cleansing oil mm -hmm. so we uh, with makeup a based a oil based cleanser it's able to remove it right from deep inside the skin okay yeah all right so you're done with so the cleansing I'm step i'm done with the cleansing step so i'm i'm wiping off the cleanser all right and maybe Joyce, we can add this. Why do people use, you need a cleanser maybe, mm -hmm. instead of soap? Sabunia panga. Yeah, sabunia kipanga. Others mm -hmm. believe uh, in a sufficia kabisa. Mm -hmm. But the reason why we use cleanser is um, the pH balance. It should be from 4.5 to 5.5. Right, because your skin on your face is a lot more sensitive. Yeah, it is sensitive. Okay. So you're supposed to make sure whatever you're using is a bit mild to okay. you. To your, to your face okay that is it's not what you're using maybe the kipanga is for removing stains and all that <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> <you> <laughs> no yeah. okay yeah all right so what then would be the next steps here so after that i'm going to pat our skin okay to ensure that it doesn't have any um water traces left So as much as she's laying down, this is a process we can be doing at home and you should be doing at home yeah, every day. Yeah, you should day. be doing at home every day. Yeah. Like um, morning and evening? Morning and evening. Okay. You ensure that in the morning you use a cleanser um, and then in the evening you also use a cleanser. 
Yeah, because you know some people think that oh, I've not worn makeup, I've not done what, but there's yeah. all sorts of things. There's impurities in the yeah. air that get yeah. on your skin. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I'm applying toner. Okay. Um, just to tone our skin. All right. So at this point, we've not started the analysis no, yet. No, no, no. We have not started. We're just preparing our skin for that. Okay. And now immediately I do that. Um, we call this a magnifying lamp. Okay. So it will help me to magnify the face very well. All right. Dealing, starting with the forehead. Oh, wow. So there's actually like a magnifying glass on yeah. the thing that yeah. she's just opened. And so I'll go bit by bit. Okay. Like, um, I can see a forehead. Mm -hmm. um, um, first of all, when we are doing a skin analysis, there are two things that we, need, we, we want to achieve. We want to know her skin type, and we also want to know her skin concern. What is it that she wants to, uh, to be treated? Okay. Maybe she has any skin condition. Okay. So I first start by checking her skin type, um, which uh, I can tell that... Uh, around our t-zone t-zone is this area right going downwards mm -hmm. and the cheeks and all that she's a bit oily so your t-zone is the top across your forehead yeah and down the bridge of your nose yeah and around your the chin cheek and around the che yes. cheeks as well yeah okay so, so she's, oily. Area, she's oily yeah and and out outside um the t-zone area uh, around the the jawline and all that she's dry and so concluding that our skin type it's combination combination of oily and uh, and dry okay and so our skin condition when i check the main one that i'm getting is that she has uh pigmentation okay and this has been caused maybe by environmental um the damages like the sun is the main one yeah that affects around um our forehead and uh, outside okay for people who are watching at home and they're trying to yeah. figure out their skin type and they don't have this fancy magnifying light yeah. lamp, yeah. how do they tell if they are oily? What should they be looking Is it possible for them to tell or do they need to see a specialist? Uh, I would advise them to see a specialist. A okay. skin specialist will advise them. First of all, they know their skin type and from that they'll be able to purchase products that are written. If now our skin is combination, she'll purchase something that is written combination uh, okay. skin type. Okay. Yeah. And All then right. with our skin condition, now we will recommend uh, what kind of treatment now we are going to, we are going to do on our, on our face. Right. Now that the fact that she has pigmentation, we will know like which method of um, facial methods, like we have uh, microdermabrasion, we have pills, mm -hmm. whereby uh, we do glycolic, lactic acid, and uh, salicylic acid, all those. Okay. Now you do a treatment. And uh, the treatment will go for, let's say, like six, six months. Okay. If she has done it today, every month she has to come for this treatment. All right. Yeah. For people who struggle with, say, acne, yeah. is this something that could help them with dealing with their skin care? Yeah. I can say acne is um, it's, it's a skin condition. Basically, they have a skin type. Either they're oily or basically oily is the main one. Okay. They're oily too oily and then we'll, uh, it causes them to have acne. Okay. So acne is a condition. So from there we, we are able to go about treating acne. All right. Yeah. So this more or less is, is the entire process of skin analysis, would you say? Yeah. And from here now you would then sort of almost prescribe for her the right sort of products yes. to use based on the skin type. Based on the skin type and right. based on the skin condition that she has. And that's why it's important yeah. for you to actually figure that out first. You yeah. see, you see yeah. too, like just seeing someone on Instagram yeah. or yeah. wherever and then you just want to know what products they're using. Yeah. Yeah. It needs to be specific yeah. to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, for those who'd be interested in, in, in having a session like this with you first of all where can they find you and what sort of costings are we talking about um we are located in parklands flawless mm -hmm. parklands or Jija road you want to talk to this camera here this one yeah. yeah this one yeah okay we are located in parklands or Jija road um uh, our skin i can say skin analysis and all that we offer treatments they vary from uh, different we have to analyze you and then from there we able to advise you which one okay. you're able to take depending yeah. on your budget right yeah so there is something for even someone who doesn't have a very extravagant yes, budget yes, to yes. Not a COVID. yeah i know <laughs> we are watching our finances <laughs> yeah, yeah so you can still have good skin care on a moderate budget yes you can all right yeah. and are you also on social media yes i am mm -hmm. um my social media instagram page we have flawless power by lydia 
and uh, on my page it's Lydia the Beautician. Yeah. You can DM or ask any question on skin. Okay. Yes. And a quick one before we go yeah. is also about if you're able to even determine sort of the age of one's skin. You know how yeah. doctors can tell you your body is like yeah, functioning yeah, like yeah. as if it's 40 yeah. <laughs> or 50. Yeah. Can you also tell that with skin when you do this process? Yes, you can. And the first sign, um, skin has a different uh, thick and, and thinness part of the face. And around the eyes are the first one to tell whether uh, the age of someone. Okay. They, uh, you'll find fine lines starting yes. to create down um, on your eyelid down. And then from there, you're able to see. And the neck also, mm -hmm. you find some fine lines. Mm -hmm. So from there, you're able to range either they are 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 right. to 50. Yeah, because women, they don't like saying their age mm -hmm. publicly. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Lydia, for being here today. Thank you to you as well, Faith, yeah. uh, for being a good model there. And hopefully you guys have walked away with a tip or two. Um, remember, your skincare for your face is not just... Uh, make sure now you're taking care of your neck as well, and even, they say, your ears too. But with that said, guys, I do want to thank you so much for your company. Let's meet you again tomorrow for even more Full Circle with Joyce. Until then, God bless you and have a wonderful wonderful rest of the day. Ciao.